Hey there, Capricorn. Good afternoon, and welcome to your February 2021 tarot reading. Welcome to Tree of Life Tarot. My name is Carrie, and I'm excited to connect with my Capricorn soul family members out there to talk about your February forecast. So whether your sun sign is Capricorn or your moon or rising sign is Capricorn, some of you may, may be here checking up on a Capricorn. Others of you may just be intuitively guided to be here. You had a little nudge, a little feeling that said, click on this link. Trust those energies. Trust those feelings. That's your intuition speaking to you. So Capricorn, I'm excited to connect with all of you. I know we have a lot of beautiful Capricorn soul family members out there, so it's great to get reacquainted, reconnected with all of you. And then for those of you that may be new to this channel, welcome to Tree of Life Tarot. It's great to connect with you. Uh, I always enjoy the Capricorn Tarot readings. My moon and rising are earth energy. So I really resonate strong with those earth-like energies. So Capricorn, your beautiful zodiac sign. Uh, for starters, today is, it's Wednesday, Wednesday, February the 10th. Uh, and the time on my end is about 1.04 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Okay, I just glanced at the clock and it was 1.11. Uh, Capricorn, so what I'm going to do today is we're going to talk about, to begin with, we're going to get into your astrological forecast, where we're going to look at February for you, for Capricorn energy. And we're going to see which planets are going to be moving specifically into which houses for Capricorn. Depending on the planet and the house that it moves into, it's going to bring and create a different energy in your life at that time of the month. So I'm going to do the best job that I can at describing these energies to you so you know what to expect and what to anticipate moving forward into this month. So the month of February, um, it's a big month for all the zodiac signs. You know, the astrological forecast, um, I feel like, this is just my personal feelings, I feel like I, like I love the astrological forecast because the better understanding that I can have stepping into a month especially knowing like what energies lie ahead of me, right? Maybe what challenges may be there, what opportunities may be there. If I know that ahead of time, I can prepare to embrace those energies and to manifest the best experience for myself. So I really like the information that comes out in these astrological readings and it gives us a big picture look energetically of what's taking place for Capricorn. And then we're going to hone in and we're going to see how many of these energies are going to manifest more specifically for you in the month of February. Uh, and we're going to do this through a tarot reading. So Capricorn, let's get started. Getting into your astrological forecast. So February is a big month and it's an unusual month for all the zodiac signs in the sense that there are several planets that are all positioned in one house for each zodiac sign. So, and then you have some other planetary energies that are taking place for you this month, Capricorn. Let me describe these. So Capricorn, you have the planet Saturn, which is your ruling planet, squaring with the planet Uranus. Saturn is about cautiousness, being careful, and being responsible. Emphasis on responsibility. And is many times connected to our past experiences. Uranus is going to be pushing many of you to be able to break free from the energies that are holding some of you back. Uranus energy will liberate many of you and set you free to create changes and new beginnings for yourself. Now is the time for you Capricorn to dream and to dream big. A chance to break free of whatever or whoever you feel is restricting you in your life. On the 1st of February you had the Sun, Mercury, Jupiter and Saturn. All four of those planets positioned together in your second house of finances. On the 2nd of February you had the planet Venus of attraction and love moving in and joining the party in your second house. And then on the 11th, you also have a new moon taking place in your second house of finances. So Capricorn, you have all the planetary en energy being focused in your second house of finances. These energies will bring changes for many of you with your finances. Some of you may find yourselves changing careers or wanting to change careers possibly go a completely different direction. It may be Uranus that's pushing you and encouraging you to take some chances, do something different. Some of you may feel somewhat restricted and limited with what you do, and you may be seeking to experience less responsibility and more freedom. It's so interesting because I'm aware of your tarot reading. and These energies are coming out for you, Capricorn. You have a very divine tarot reading this month. This is a great time for some of you to launch and start a new business. These energies will be nudging many of you to make a change for yourselves. 
On the 19th of February, we have the sun coming to join the planet Neptune in your third house of communications and learning. This is a great time for writing a book or uploading information onto the internet. Uh, maybe you're creating a website or you could be creating a channel and uploading videos. This is a great time for you to be seen, Capricorn, because the sun is shining on you, right? Shining on you in this third house energy. On the 27th of February, you have a full moon happening in your ninth house of expansion and beliefs. This energy shines a light on your spiritual journey. This is a great time for meditation, yoga, or tai chi. Uh, Mars and Uranus in your fifth house of playful energy. This energy will cause many of you to desire more freedom in your life. So Capricorn, some of you stepping into the month of February might, may find yourselves in the energy of just being aware of the responsibilities in your life and possibly feeling the heaviness of the responsibilities. And maybe you're getting that little Uranus nudge inside to just want to be able to break free, to, to be able to, to experience more freedom in your life. Okay, Capricorn, let's get right into your tarot reading now. So I wanted to pull an energy from my Power of Love activation set to take us into your tarot reading. It's pretty beautiful. Here's what came out for you. We have responsibility. Perfect for Capricorn. Capricorns are so responsible. You guys are fantastic with responsibility. You're great at multitasking. I mean, honestly, you're such a talented zodiac. You truly are. But in this energy, right, some of you may be feeling the heaviness, you know, of, of uh, the weightiness of a lot of, feeling a lot of responsibility in your life. I wanted to get some clarification on responsibility. And here's what comes out for you, Capricorn. So here we have the Eight of Swords, which is representing the energy of fear. And it's attached to the Seven of Cups. And I feel like the Seven of Cups coming in attached to the Eight of Swords with responsibility. The Seven of Cups is being spread out too thin. You know, maybe you're trying to juggle too much. There's a lot, you're feeling a, a lot of responsibilities here in your life. The other clarification that came out for you, Capricorn, is the High Priestess energy. So if you're in this energy, all right, in your Capricorn, feeling, you know, the heaviness of the responsibilities, right? realize much of it may just be in your head right part of our thoughts our thinking it's our brain our brain tricks us at times so you're being encouraged to rely on the high priestess energy so to trust your intuition to trust your inner feelings you know so many times you know for the high priestess energy to embrace that that means we need to go deep so here's what comes in next for you capricorn we have pulled an energy from my psychic tear of the heart deck and what comes to you is the Four of Cups. So the title of this energy is called Opportunity Beckons. So looking at the figure on this card, he's standing on this balcony and he's looking out at the stars and the planets, right? So maybe you've been looking at the stars and the planets, maybe looking at energies, trying to study energies, right? To look for answers, to be able to break free from this energy. So we have you this en in this energy of being deep in thought. We wanted to get some clarification. And here's what comes in for you. So we have the Hierophant energy, uh, which represents the energy of Taurus. So you may have a Taurus in your life or somebody who, who also has a lot of these earth-like qualities to you. I wanted to get some clarification on the Hierophant energy. And here we have the Three of Pentacles. So the Three of Pentacles represents the energy of, this will be a relationship, you know, and it can be a relationship to another person. It could be a business partner. It could be a coworker. It could be your husband, your wife, your spouse, your lover. But it's a, it's coming in and it's attached to the, the Hierophant card, which, you know, it's a very spiritual, a very spiritually enlightened energy here. So, and that takes us over to the next clarifying energies, which is we have the Ten of Pentacles, and then right next to it, we have the Nine of Wands, right? So the Ten of Pentacles represents abundance, right? This is... I'm focused on creating and manifesting abundance for everybody, right? But in the process of that, I'm being reminded of my nine of wands, right? So I'm being reminded of like Capricorn, this is your life experience. This is your life journey. So you need to make sure that your energy is part of this abundance right here as well. Um, Capricorn, getting more clarification for you. It's kind of fascinating. So here's what comes in for you. We have 
and it's attached to opportunity beckons. So I feel like this is an energy that will come to many of you as you're going inward, as you're really you're thinking about the situation. You're giving yourself a chance to really listen to your internal compass, right? Your intuition. Uh, we see the fool's energy and what's attached to it is the magician. So the fool's energy, I'm being reminded when I'm in this energy, right? What's the opposite of carrying a lot of weight and a lot of responsibilities? To break free of it, right? So can I break free of this energy? Absolutely. The magician is right here to tell you, Capricorn, that you can break free of this energy. But you need to embrace this energy of the fool because it's the fool's energy that allows you to manifest. It's letting go of the fears, all right? And here's some fear showing up right here as the Eight of Swords. So I, I need to release and let go of this fear. I need to step into, I need to let go possibly of the attachments of all the expectations that are connected to this energy of responsibility. It's, it's making me feel the heaviness of responsibilities. So I'm embracing this fool's energy and it's when I'm in this energy that I'm creating that I'm manifested. Why? Because I've broken myself free. And when I break myself free, at the end of the day, Capricorn, you're just energy. I glanced at the clock and it was 11-11 again. Um, all you are at the end of the day is energy. So when you broke free, you've opened yourself up to receive, to make changes, to create and to manifest in your life. All right, Capricorn, that takes us over to the next energy. And here's what spirit wants you to be aware of. We have release coming in. So this represents the energy of Capricorn, excuse me, the energy of Scorpio. So some of you may be connected to a Scorpio, maybe a Scorpio that you're in this relationship with in the Three of Pentacles. So release, you know, represents the energy of, of letting go. And looking at the figure on this card, right, he's, he's releasing and it looks like he's releasing a lot of emotions, a lot of feelings. Wanted to get some clarification on releasing and here's what came out for you. So I'm releasing and I'm freeing myself from the five of wands, which is representing the energy of disharmony, right? This can be a lot of arguing back and forth. It's representing the energy of, of some poor communication, you know, possibly debating, having different feelings, different ideas on things. And clarifying the five of wands, we have the moon card, right? So these matters that, that were being discussed, that were that were we may have been arguing about, all it was bringing about is a lot of confusion. That's what the moon card is telling us here. Which takes us to your next energy, Capricorn, which comes to us as the Five of Swords, right? So I may have been in this Five of Wands energy working this for quite some time. So much so that I may have embraced that energy where I feel like, you know, somebody stabbed me in the back, that I've let, I've, somebody may have let me down, or I may have let myself down. Represented as the Five of Swords. Getting clarification on the Five of Swords, we have the Ten of Swords. So the universe letting you know, right? Can you overcome this Five of Swords energy? Yes. You can release and let go of these five swords. Swords represent the painful lessons, right? And with every relationship and every experience, there's always, you know, we have good experiences, we have bad experiences, but the lessons are always there. Many times, some of the biggest lessons come through the most trying and difficult experiences, right? But here you are releasing these energies in the Ten of Swords. Now, I wanted to pull another energy, and what came in for you, Capricorn, is the Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune is representing the energy of changes, right? So you may have stepped into this connection and you may have embraced and taken on a lot of changes. Um, you know, where in these changes could have, with these changes, you may have felt like you opened yourself up to taking on more responsibility to where it's just like the responsibility became too heavy and I need to free myself of this responsibility getting further clarification for you. Capricorn, here's what comes in. So I'm releasing these energies because I want an Ace of Cups beginning, right? I have my eye on the prize and I have the sun energy that's attached to this beginning, which represents the energy of Leo. So some of you may be connected to a Leo, right? Maybe you're desiring a Leo connected to this beautiful beginning. But the sun shining on you, which is a refreshing change, right? Because before before you released you had the moon energy so right there was a lot of conf confusion a lot of misunderstandings 
that were going on. But here with this beginning, because I've released these energies, the sun is now shining on me. So I've replaced the light from the moon where things are dim and blurry. And now I see my truth. It's right here in front of me. And it's attached to this beginning. All right, Capricorn, I'm getting pretty excited for you here in your tarot reading. So that takes us over to your next energy, which it shows up for a second time here in your tarot reading today. Here's the magician coming back. So, you know, you have magician energy coming in, you know, regarding this this connection, this three of, of pentacles connection, you know, and all the heaviness, all the confusion, the misunderstanding, all the heaviness of the responsibility. You have the magician energy, right, to overcome this energy. And now that you've overcome it, right, now you're ready to create this ace of cups beginning and the magician energy is coming right back to you. So you can absolutely manifest this. Where does manifestation begin with? Sometimes it starts with the page of cups, right? Because it's the page of cups that's going to lead me to this beginning. So if I want to create this beginning, I begin thinking it through. So what the page of cups is telling me coming in attached to magician is to take the opportunity, right? To see things falling into place, right? To see myself resolving the situation where I can free myself from a lot of the heaviness and the responsibility that I'm feeling. And I'm imagining it taking place. Like I'm literally seeing it all happen in my mind. And it's so clear in my mind that as I'm imagining it, it feels so good that I can't help that naturally feel the feelings at the time, even though it's all just in my head. But my body doesn't know the difference, right? My body is what it manifests and what attracts matter, right? So this is where, this is the first step for you, Capricorn, to begin manifesting. What exactly are you manifesting? Well, you have the star card here representing the energy of Aquarius. So some of you may be manifesting in Aquarius. But I'm in the energy of wanting to manifest all of my hopes and dreams. I have a destined goal in mind. So getting further clarification clarification for you, Capricorn. Here we have the Four of Pentacles, right? So Four of Pentacles. She, notice how she's clinging to these pentacles, right? It's like, oh, they're just responsibilities. I can't afford to even move an inch or I might let my guard down. And heaven forbid, if Capricorn lets their guard down, and it may be received as being irresponsible, that's a heavy energy, right? So. I'm not in this energy anymore when I'm manifesting. I have Four of Cups energy. I have my eye on the prize. Maybe I've taken all these responsibilities, a lot of them that have been weighing me down. Maybe I've delegated some of those responsibilities and I've shared that responsibilities with others that I can trust to get that done. But here I've minimized how much I'm thinking about because I have my eye on the prize right here. This is what I'm wanting to create, what I'm wanting to manifest. What is that Four of Cups? It's Two of Cups. Soulmate energy right here. Um, beautiful energies. Two like-minded ind individuals. Capricorn, this is somebody in your life that you feel comfortable with, right? You feel you could be naked together and you feel free. Somebody that, I mean, notice they're both in the water, right? And water represents a lot of emotions and feelings, right? So this is somebody that is easy to talk to that I can open up to and they they're easy to talk to me they open up to me and we have these beautiful deep discussions right very like-minded individuals that's keeping your eye on the prize so getting further clarification for you Capricorn we have the Empress energy coming in so I'm focused on me my desires I'm focused on my balance I'm recognizing my part of the responsibility and maybe I've removed the confusion and it's maybe this confusion that's caused me to feel like I, I'm overburdened with responsibility. So this confusion goes away with the energy of the sun, shining a light, removing the confusion. So here we have you embracing the Empress energy, like feeling your value, feeling your worth. This also represents the energy of Taurus and Libra. Right, so you may be connected to a Taurus and Libra. We had Taurus show up twice here in your reading. So I'm in this Empress energy. And the Empress energy, 
I do because I want to do, right? I do because I love people. And why do I do that? Because I love myself. So I'm taking the energy that I feel towards myself and I'm putting it out there and I'm sharing it with others. And when I do it with the Empress energy, I'm realizing that it's all motivated behind unconditional love. And when I'm aware of that, it frees me up for maybe the heaviness of the responsibilities. And then coming in next, Capricorn, we have the Knight of Pentacles. And what's attached to the Knight of Pentacles is the Two of Cups. Right? So Knight of Pentacles, slowest moving knight, but it's the most reliable knight. Right? Slow moving, reliable. Why is this knight moving like this? I feel like it's because this knight energy, for many of you, this is a destined path for you. This is a destined connection, a destined relationship. All right, Capricorn, I think I'm done with this portion of your tarot reading. It begs for more questions, so I'm going to offer an extended portion of your tarot reading over on Vimeo. So for those of you that would like to follow me over to Vimeo, you can find the link just below this reading in the description box. Just click on the link, and I'll see you over there. For the rest of you, I think this is where we part ways. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your viewership. Thank you for your beautiful comments, your likes, your subscribes, your shares for all the love and the support that you provide to me. For those of you that have requested personal tarot readings, it makes a difference in my life. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to show up for you. Um, thank you for the beautiful donations. And many of you have followed me over to Patreon and you're choosing to support me over on Patreon for the videos that I upload over here on YouTube. So thank you so much. I couldn't do it without all of you. Capricorn, I'm going to get some clarification on an extended reading. I want to get some clarification on this Hierophant energy, representing the energy of Taurus. I want to get clarification on the Three of Pentacles. Uh, clarification on the Five of Swords and the Five of Wands. Um, clarification on the Wheel of Fortune, talking about the changes. Clarification on the Star card, representing the energy of, of Aquarius. And of course... Well, and I want to get some clarification on this, the responsibilities. So I want to see if we can learn a little bit more. So I'm going to get some clarification on this Four of Wands. And then, of course, clarification on the Two of Cups. And then I want to pull some energies to see what the journey looks like ahead for you, Capricorn, moving forward from here. So thank you so much for being here. Uh, for those of you that are following me over to Vimeo, I'll see you over there in just a minute. For the rest of you, this is where we part ways. Thank you so much for the love and the support. Capricorn, you have an exciting February. Wishing you all the very best. Have a great day.